Hey guys, it's Reds91, and I'm bringing you some Black Friday news. Yes, once again, that time of year is almost upon us. Where we go and wait on lines and for hours to save hundreds of dollars on items that are only going to be this price, most likely, for this time of year. Now, the Black Friday deals have basically over the years have been what I would like to call ridiculous. To the point where you expect ridiculous sales when Black Friday comes around. Now, somehow, GameStop, for the most part, didn't get the memo. Why? A GameStop Black Friday ad is out. And honestly, it's less than impressive. Most of the ad, they didn't even drop the deals. Fallout 4 is still $59.99 on Black Friday. Battlefront is still $59.99 on Black Friday. Super Mario Maker, you guessed it, still $59.99 on Black Friday. Now, Tomb Raider comes with a pin if you buy it, but it's still $59.99 on Black Friday. Same thing for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. You get Unity with it if you buy it, but it's still $59.99 for Black Friday. So, I'm looking through GameStop's Black Friday ad, and I'm like, what is this? Some of these are deals, they're okay, but they're not Black Friday. They're, I mean, Black Friday is supposed to be the day where you get ridiculous deals. And these deals just look like, okay, um, all right, where are the actual Black Friday deals? Now, it wasn't all bad. I'll admit it. There were two deals which caught my eye. There they are, right on the screen. And these are pretty good deals. These are deals I would expect to see on Black Friday. These deals are things, they, they, these are actual deals. The terabyte version of the Xbox One with three games is a much better deal than the, in my opinion, than the 500 gigabyte version of the Xbox One with one game. And it's only $50 more. $349 for three games, an Xbox One with a terabyte of hard drive space is a really good deal. The Special Edition Smash Platoon Wii, Wii, Nintendo Wii U is a really good deal because it's coming with Super Smash and Splatoon for $279. So these are deals that I, would, that I expect to see during Black Friday. But the other deals, no. They're not, they're, they're not even, some of them aren't even what I'd call regular deals. Some of them, like I said, some of those new games are keeping the same price. And I'm like, GameStop, what are you doing? These two deals are the only ones that I would consider buying. In fact, I am looking to buy an Xbox One this year. So if the other stores, when their Black Friday ad comes out, don't have better bundles than the Xbox One one terabyte version, I may actually get this Xbox One version. Now, I don't really want Gears of War Ultimate, so I may sell that back and get another game that I want. And that's what these bundles really give you the ability to do. And they're, they usually are really good. So other than these two, GameStop really dropped the ball when it came to the Black Friday deals this year. Based on this ad. Now, I'll wait and see. Maybe, maybe the other ones. I hope the other ones have a lot better um, deals than GameStop does. But like I said, other than those two, in my opinion, the GameStop Black Friday ad is kind of a fail. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'll, I'll probably have it linked in the description below so you guys can look at it yourselves and tell me what do you think of the Black Friday ad? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you, do you think these deals are good? Even the two deals I mentioned, do you think they're good? Do you think you'll be shopping at GameStop for Black Friday this year or do you think you'll be going somewhere else? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and may God bless you all.